Good afternoon to you. You are watching Lunch Prime Time News on News First. I'm Chaturanga Purachi. Let's take a look at the headlines. Neomal Rangajiva and Emil Ranjan Lamaheva further remanded until the 7th. Mars will travel close to the Earth after 15 years. Minister Dr. Rajita Sena Ratna says bureaucracy is a hindrance to bring in foreign investment into the country. A 15-hour water cut to several areas in Biagama. On to those stories in detail now. Minister Vijay Dasa Rajapaksa convened a media briefing in Colombo where he addressed concerns regarding the university sector. Meanwhile, the Inter-University Students Federation also called a press conference to respond to the charges. Today when you say universities, people think of protests. Rarely does education come to mind. That is how much these students have been protesting. Over the last few years, a lot of these students spent most of their time on the streets over the SITEM issue. Should that happen in higher education? The people must understand where this shortcoming arises. He had expressed his opinion on a number of matters, starting with the SITEM issue. None of these opinions were a result of conversations with students or student bodies. He is announcing decisions he makes with the Vice-Chancellors. Even about the SITEM issue, he lied. We had understood how he answered. We will act without any sympathy on ragging. We don't see ragging anywhere. We don't see such cheap sexual harassment even in Africa. There are gangs in universities akin to underworld gangs. They even have safe houses outside the universities. He is suddenly very sympathetic on this ragging matter. I would like to say that we have never stood for such a thing. We will not stand for it today or ever. The government is the party engaged in ragging. The survey of students from the Sabaragamo University have spent 2.1 million to come to Colombo seven times. Sometimes when they come to the university's commission, they go out to the media and scold the government in filth. After the last discussion, these students couldn't face the media and left with their faces hidden. We know that money exchanges hands. We are waiting for official information as we have to prove things. Once we do, we will reveal all who is behind this. We challenge him to show how we found money. We challenge him to show how we received the money. Tell us quick and don't take too long. I am sure you have a list of who gave money. We would like to clearly state that he could never prove such a thing. They are just putting up huts everywhere. They haven't told us what they want. Just because you put up a hut, we will not provide solutions. We don't mind even if they stay that way for five years. It is clear that their objective is not to solve problems. They are being sold to the highest bidder to create a political issue. He might as well pull this act with someone else. He addressed these issues as University Students Federation along with the administrations. Are these vice chancellors going for these meetings to have a cup of tea? After Minister Vijay Dasa, we have not been called in for a single discussion. A water cut will take effect in a number of areas, including Birgama North today. National Water Supply and Drainage Board said that the water cut will take effect for a period of 15 hours starting at 9 a.m. The National Water Supply and Drainage Board said the cut is in order to carry out mandatory maintenance work of the water distribution system supplying to the Biagama Free Trade Zone. The Gramani Ladari divisions of Siambala Pewatta, Alubovila, Delgoda, Akurumulla, Kanduboda, Ulahitiwala, Walgama, Yabaralua, Malwana, Dompe, Namalua, Dekatana and Galwala Buddha are to be affected by the restriction in water supply. The University of Colombo says that after 15 years, Mars is travelling extremely close to Earth 
The Astronomy and Space Science Unit Director of the University of Colombo, Professor Chandana Jayaratna, says that the planet will be visible extremely brightly. The red planet is said to be visible on the eastern horizon following sundown until dawn where it will be visible on the western horizon. Professor Jayaratna further added that the brightest star visible in the night sky in the last few days was Mars. While the planet is reddish in colour, the bright light it emits in shining in the night sky makes it easily identifiable. Tonight's distance between Mars and Earth is 57.6 million kilometres. It is the closest it has been since record-breaking approach on the 28th August 2003. Saturn, Jupiter and Venus are also visible in the night sky over the last few days as in order from east to west. Professor Jayaratna added that large telescopes at the University of Colombo would be open to the general public to watch Mars as well as Saturn, Jupiter and Venus between 7 and 10 p.m. tonight. On to a story that made it to the headlines, former OIC of the RAIDS unit of the Police Narcotics Bureau, IP Neomar Rangajiva and former Commissioner of Prisons, Emil Ranjan Lamaheva, have been further remanded until the 7th of next month. The order was handed down when the suspects were produced before the Colombo Additional Magistrate, Priyanta Lienege. The suspects, Neomar Rangajiva and Emil Ranjan Lamaheva, have been remanded in connection to the murder of 27 inmates of the Valikada prison. In more local news, addressing a gathering in Kalutari yesterday, Minister Dr. Rajit Senaratna said bureaucracy has become an obstacle or a hindrance when bringing in foreign investments into the country. At present, after national security, we spend mostly on health care and education. I was allocated 235 billion rupees from the budget. Another 200 billion was acquired through foreign debt. The health ministry brought in the highest number of foreign investment to the country. However, it is almost impossible because of the bureaucracy that exists. I will get things done even by force, but those who are unable to do so will be in trouble. This is happening because of the inefficiency of those who work at such places. The minister expressed these views at an event held to distribute 50 state-of-the-art hospital beds to 10 hospitals across the Kalutara district. An event to renovate the East Palam Kadavava under the Vau Dahasak Gam Dahasak initiative took place yesterday. Minister of Agriculture Mahinda Amaravira took part in the event. When you consume a mango and throw away the seed, that grows into a tree, and the same happens with breadfruit or with lime. This is a country where guavas grow after you throw it away. In such a country, we import 54 metric tons of fruit from overseas. We spend 958 million a year to import oranges alone. We will create zones to cultivate oranges. We will commence this from Bibila and we will provide an opportunity to all who would like to grow oranges in the country. We spend 2,766 million rupees to import grapes. We spend 1,350 million to import ginger and turmeric. 689 million for peanuts a year. Can we be proud as a country? Can we be proud as ministers? Are the officials proud? Can you be proud as agrarian organizations? No, we have to use the ground to cultivate. Financial aid was presented to 190 families in the Godapiti area falling under the purview of the Atharalia Divisional Secretariat which was affected by the severe flooding in 2017. <laughs> The event took place at the Aturalia Divisional Secretariat under the auspices of Deputy Minister of Industry and Commerce, Buddhika Patirana. We have launched an initiative to protect the Nilvala River regardless of any political affiliations. Our main source of water is the Nilvala River. We have come together to remove all illegal constructions on the banks of the Nilvala River and declare it as a reserve. We will also enact the law strictly on those who have constructed illegal establishments. We will carry this out even if we have to go home at the next election. There will be no political intervention in the Matara district on legal action which will be taken on illegal constructions. Patients coming into the Nagul Lagama Hospital in Mahava have to face serious difficulties when obtaining healthcare services. The Nagulla Gam Hospital currently serves residents of Mahava, Ratmale, Hotuava and Digankorn Weva. As many as 150 patients visit the hospital daily to receive treatment. But locals say that the hospital lacks any basic facilities. The presence of only one doctor and one helper means even in-house patients receive far from ideal level of treatment. 
These villagers have to travel 20 kilometers to Kurunagala to receive their treatment as a result of a lack of facilities at the Nagul Lagam Hospital. The residents ask that the authorities take the necessary action to have basic facilities at the hospital. If we have one more doctor and a nurse, we can manage the hospital with no problem. Still in local news, the Centre for Environment and Nature Studies convened a media briefing in Colombo. They spoke about the prospective parks that are to be built between the Gampaha Railway Station and Bandaravatta. Gampaha Pradesi. We see this project as one which affects Grama Nildare divisions and more than 10,000 people. Without any environmental surveys, they have decided to do this. These paddy fields in Gampaha are extremely valuable. They contribute greatly towards managing floods. Already they have encroached on some water bodies and built structures. So now there is a risk of flooding when it rains. They tried to steal the ownership of this property via a cabinet paper issued in December 2017. We are burying our agricultural capital to build these cities. Classes and extra classes in relation to the GCE advanced level examination are to be restricted from midnight tonight. Commissioner of Examination Sanat B. Poojda said strict legal action will be taken against all those who violate this restriction. He added that the examination will span from the 6th of August to the 1st of September. 321,469 students are set to sit for the examinations across 2,267 exam centres. In more local news, reports have emerged that a fire on the Paraviangal Hill in the Imbulpe Divisional Secretariat in the Balangoda district has still not been subsided. Our reporters state that the fire, which began on Sunday, had continued to spread into the Namperial Reserve. Even though locals and students of the Sabaragamo University worked to control the fire on Sunday, strong winds and a dry climate meant that their efforts proved futile. Balangoda wildlife officials had arrived at the location earlier today to carry out their investigations. That's all the news we have for you this afternoon. Do join us on our Live at 55 News updates and on our Primetime News Bulletin coming your way at 9 tonight. I've been Chaturanga Parachi. Have a good day.